What's up, it's Cole here. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to create a Wi-Fi hotspot wherever you go, on the go, with your iPhone 1st Gen, 3GU, or 3GS. So we're just going to open up Cydia here. You do have to be jailbroken, which kind of sucks, but you know what you're going to do. So we're going to go here, open up Cydia. Here we go. Let's go into Manage, Sources, and you want to go to Edit add now you're gonna wanna add sinfuliphonerepo.com the link will be scrolling across the bottom here once you add that source you're gonna go and click search for my i my y my y give it a second my Y, here I found it. You're not going to want that one. It's going to ask you for a code. You're not going to want that one. You're going to want the third one down that has the little icon over here. To so click that, click install, accept. It's going to install. It's going to want to reboot your phone. Now you're going to get a little icon over here called My Y. What you want to do with that is you're going to launch it. Accept anything if it asks for it. And then you're just going to toggle this little thing over here, Wi-Fi tethering. It's going to start the tethering. See, now it says that it is indeed tethering. So we're going to put that down real quick. We're going to grab the iPod Touch. We're going to go into Wi-Fi. It's currently on my main network. You can see down here, it came up with the new network, Colton's iPhone, my Y. We're gonna go onto that network. So now we're going off my iPhone's internet, which is pretty sweet. So you can launch up weather applications, and this is using your iPhone's 3G connection. So it's pretty freaking awesome. You can do this on the go. Now you guys might be asking, well, why would you want to have two devices on 3G at the same time? That's pretty pointless. Well, let's say you have a friend with you, and you don't want them to be using your iPhone, getting it all smudgy. What if they dropped it? You could just say, hold on, I'll give you a Wi-Fi signal, and then on their iPod Touches, go on the internet anywhere you are with your iPhone. So it's a pretty neat thing. You could also do it with your laptop on the go. But for that, I just use USB tethering. It's simpler, and your iPhone charges while you're doing it. So this is more like for your friends thing or for your parents if you don't want them to use your iPhone or whatever. It's kind of neat. I don't know exactly how far it transmits, but it probably transmits about 20 feet. So it's very nice. To stop the tethering process, you just go in here and toggle back Wi-Fi tethering. It'll come up with this screen. Cleaning up Wi-Fi. Now you're not tethering anymore. And if you look over here, I didn't touch anything, guys. There you go. Wi-Fi turned off. I'm going to go into settings. Wi-Fi. And we're going to throw it on my network. Let's go to research. There's my home network. And we're back on the house network. So it's pretty flawless. I haven't found a flaw in it yet. It works very well. And this is an iPhone 3G. If you guys enjoyed, comment and subscribe. Check out some of my other content. Also, go and subscribe to my collab channel, Tech Mayhem. Links are all in the sidebar. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.